works. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Most so mild. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I have an itch on my right boob, so I'm just okay. gonna do this to get rid of it. It's gonna keep coming back. It's gonna be deafening. You think boobs are awesome and they're not. They're not. <laughs> Try to super glue two water balloons to the front of your chest and have a normal day. Try it. Hi! Hi! Did we just harmonize? Yeah, it was great. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Uh, Michelle is the musician here. I know nothing about music. I really don't either. I just mimic people. She's great at it though. Most 21! What's up? What's up? We have not been around for a long time and we Sorry. feel that you have a lot of questions that you want to ask us. We're going to A your cues. And just so you know, we. Oh, should we even make promises? We should. No, 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 Whatever, no, no. Guys. We don't know when we're going to post <laughs> we videos. Don't know. We're trying. Right now we're trying. Yes. We'll see what happens. We are consistently inconsistent. And you love it. Let's answer those questions. No balls, Nancy. Good uh -huh. to know. I uh, turned 21 in three and a half months. How exactly should I celebrate? I mm. hate having the pressure on the 21st birthday. My 21st birthday was like fine. We went to uh, TJ Friday. Fridays. Had oh my a drink. god, really? I was just I was making that up as a joke. No, that was for serious. Okay. <laughs> Went to TJ Fridays, had a giant blue drink, and that was it. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I went out at midnight with my mom and her friends for midnight martinis. So I was super cool. Yeah. Make your 21st birthday fun, but don't feel like it has to be like the end all be all occasion of fun. And it could be if you want it to be. Whatever but also, you want. 21 is the gateway to like you having a lot of fun. The rest times. of your life will be time that you're allowed to drink. Right. So, this doesn't have to be the only night that you're yeah. allowed to drink. <laughs> so do something that you think no is, that you'll enjoy. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Obvi. And, Obvi. And Biggie. Totes. And Biggie isn't even a thing. What is that? No Biggie. I and just, Biggie. I don't know why I said that. I thought it was a racial slur. <laughs> One direction. That's not a question, but oh my god. You <laughs> like them a lot. What's going on? I can't. They're like Furbies that I'm sexually attracted to. <laughs> so it's the worst wrong feeling. I don't hate it. I will admit that I spent a little time on Wikipedia last week looking to see how old they were. <laughs> oh Furbies god. that I want to fuck. <laughs> Next question. Jam is tasty said, if you woke up and discovered you were invisible, what's the first thing you would do? I would just start going into buildings in Brooklyn to check out all the different kinds of apartments. What are you thinking of, Pervy? I just ball tap as many people as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Like dudes on the street just like getting a jolt into the I would just ball tap everyone. Actually, I take my back. I would um the first thing I think of, which I really love doing to my dogs, yeah. is I love when they're just sitting and they're calm and I go over to them and blow on their ears and then it makes their ear go. Yeah. So I just go up to all the dogs in the neighborhood and go to their ears and then watch. And just them like slowly it. unzip everyone's flies on the street. <laughs> Really difficult Yours to do. Yours are so much meaner than mine and so much no. more entertaining. Mine are just it. like focusing on genitalia, which is wrong. Next Let's, question. Next question. Fool on the Hill 92 said, Where is the best place to find nice guys? Joel actually said this the best when we Joel? were picking the questions. This is our friend Joel, the daily guru. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Sneak attack, he's lurking in the best way possible because we asked him to come hang out and make sure that everything was okay. The best place to find nice guys is actually, like he said, a place that you enjoy hanging out. Yeah, because if, if they, you share a common thing that you like, Right. Commonly. If if you both like going to the coffee shop and you meet someone at the coffee shop, then coffee house guy is your guy. Or it's like you like going out to nightclubs, nightclubs and there's guy. some other dude that loves going out to nightclubs. Rubbing up on your pee and your A. Yeah, rubbing up on and your, your V and your boobs and etc. Yeah, I went with P, you went with V. Same thing though. What's P? Oh, I was like rubbing up on your penis? Who are these like cross dressers <laughs> that are going to the club? Next question. <laughs> Next question. Uh, raging, oh, Raging Lesbo. Okay. Yeah. Ask, Not are shy. you two going to read Fifty Shades of Grey? I want to okay. so bad. Maybe we'll do it for a video series. Maybe we'll we'll both start reading Fifty Shades of Grey and vlogging on Grace and Michelle about how we're reading it. No, cool. yes, that's happening. Earmuff girl, 
said, what's the weirdest thing you guys have done together? And this is the last question. The weirdest thing we've done together. We've done a lot of weird things together. Sure. Maybe the most shameful weird thing We're that we've ever- We're gonna change it from weird to shameful. The wedding? Yeah. The wedding. Uh, so we, we, I used to film wedding videos, and so I brought Grace along to be a third camera person, because I was like, it'll be so much fun, Grace will come. And it was at the Central Park Boathouse. And, um, very ritzy, really hoity-toity. Very hoity-toity. Our boss, he said, there's really nice champagne here. If you guys want to have a glass of champagne during the cocktail hour while you shoot, please feel free. Yeah. And we were like, Okay. Well, actually, okay. I have been on so many weddings with him before yeah. that, and I never got drunk. But you just kept bringing me drinks, and I was like, okay. Oh, I took them. I drank them. We you got. Know, it's not your drunk. fault. But the fact that you were there having so much fun, I was like, yeah, my friend's here. I'm gonna drink more. So we both got like really, really drunk. We were filming the um, the speeches, and Grace was filming on this like third camera that was up above, and she was leaning back and looking at it, and she didn't realize there were these votive candles on the wall. Who does her, that? Her hair caught on fire, and like she put it out, but I'm standing there filming the speech, and I'm like, it emanated through the entire room, so much so that a cater waiter came over to me in the corner, was like, what's on fire? And I froze, and I was like, I think this plant caught on fire for a second. It's fine, nothing's on fire now. Let's just keep going. <laughs> and he walked away, but you could slowly see the room like catching the scent of burning oh, hair, which is so uh, specific. Very distinct scent. And later in the night, I stole a bunch of cocktail stirs from the bar. I just but was also, like, boom, you, and I took them. Well, one of the jobs of videographers is to be on the dance floor dancing with people and like videotaping them while they're dancing so you can have B-roll of people dancing. Michelle was like so into people dancing and like giving out our business, our business cards, not like the videographer's business cards, this. to people while they were dancing and she was filming them. And there was like this table of like all the young cousins, you could tell. Michelle like went at one point, sat herself down with all the young cousins, just started like talking shop about web videos, handing out our business cards to them whilst we were supposed to be filming this. Meanwhile, I'm like drinking champagne in the back of the room being like, I I'm off duty now at 8 p.m. Michelle oh. stole all the cocktail stirs from- I still had them for the longest time. We had a party at our apartment and I had like Central Park Boathouse cocktail stirs in our in our little hallway. Oh, so oh many. Uh, what do we call that? That cabinet in our hallway? It was like hallway furniture box? Yes, we hallway, hallway furniture, furniture box. box, yeah. And we had cocktail stirs in there. And we never, like, we never thought to like throw these away. We were like, no. we have to keep these this because this is our penance. I actually got a talking to and he was like, if you need a cocktail stir, I would buy them for you. The point was that it was blackout drunk. <laughs> if you need cocktail stirs, <laughs> I could buy them for you. Uh, Needless to say, not our line of work. We're no, done with that. I'm We've done. moved on. Yeah, I moved on. It, uh, but the wedding turned out beautiful. It did. All's well and ends well. Repress right? it. Just repress I it. I do. Oh, I do. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll commence with reading Fifty Shades of Grey, apparently. We so, have to. Yeah, we have to. You're holding us responsible. But now we'll, we'll, we will be making more Grace and Michelle videos. So yeah. thank you guys for watching so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, bye. Gracias. Adios. Sí. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Next up on Grace and Michelle. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, there's my bud, Elias. It's you and me, bud.